Welcome guys to Many Mini Tips. I've got something exciting to share with you. Make sure you watch the, um, make sure you go back and watch the last video on VLOOKUP. If, if you have not watched that, make sure you check that out. Uh, a link will be included in this, uh, in the description of this video. Um, this is gonna be very exciting. This is, gonna, this is a life changer. So make sure you watch it, pay attention. Um, I learned this a few weeks back and I wish I knew this uh, a few years ago because this has changed my perspective. My VLOOKUP uh, formula can never be the same. And one, so the issue we have with VLOOKUP is that when, you're being, when you do VLOOKUP, you have to count the columns, right? So um, your first table, the first column of your table is where you start from. So you start from your uh, left to right, you only count um, from left to right. Um, there'll be occasion where you've got a large set of data, so and it's got so many columns, you've got 20, 30 columns. And if you're doing VLOOKUP, you have to count from um, your, your first table uh, column, and you have to count to where you want your information from. Um, I've got a quick example here to show you. So let's dive into it. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Let's do our normal VLOOKUP formula. So if I want to find the first name and I've been given the last name, um, Ayala, I want to find the first name for Ayala. So what I would do is get my VLOOKUP. Um, let me get my VLOOKUP formula working. So first I'm going to find the value, which is um, that name, the last name. I've got my value, I'm going to lock this down. Um, then my table array would be from the last name column going to your right. Always start from your, the value you're looking to match. So I'm going to lock that down. Uh, and my first name is in the second column. So your column index number is number two. And then uh, your range lookup will be zero. Press enter. Um, I've got my first name. Um, if I drag this formula, drag this formula, formula down, um, I can change the column index there for last name. Last name is column one. Um, ID is now column three. And then my department is column four. So you can see I'm constantly changing my formula just to get the right return for the criteria that I need. That took so long, you know, and I want to show you a way to simplify this. And I want to show you a way to make sure that you never have to put any numbers or count any columns ever again in your life. If you keep on counting columns, then um, you've not learned anything today. So. But to make this happen, I'm going to introduce you to a, a match function that we're going to insert as our column index number. So what match function does is find, it finds a position of an item within the range that you're looking up and can give you approximate and exact uh, match position as you tell it to. So let's quickly get that match formula here so I can show you what that match uh, uh, function would do. So I want to match where I want to find out where the position in terms of the column position that ID is within a certain range within my specified range. So I'm going to match. And the first thing is the lookup value. So I'm going to look up ID. I'm going to lock this down and my lookup array would then be the column from A56 um, to D56. I want to look up within that row and I want that match to tell me the position of that ID within that row. So I want exact match. So I'm going to put zero. You always have to put zero to get exact match. You can get other matches, but stick with zero for now and um, that gives me three that tells me that id within that range is the third um, position within that range but this 
match function gives you position of what you're looking for within a certain range. That is a perfect thing to use, perfect function to use to replace our column index with um, a match function. So that's what we, that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, I'll take the two from that formula and I'll replace that with my match function. So I'll start off with match, open bracket. I wanted to find the first name. I'm gonna lock this down. Um, actually, I'm gonna lock it going, I'm gonna lock it going down. So I want my rows to be relative of my column to be locked. Right, so I'm just having one set of lock in that. Right, so when I drag the formulas, formula down, it would um, move accordingly. Now I want my lookup range, which would be that row going across because I want it to tell me within that row where first name um, is positioned. And then I wanted to put zero as exact match. And then don't forget to close your bracket. So we've basically what we've done, we've embedded a match function to replace the column index number. And that what they would do would give you the exact number of where that position is to be able to allow your VLOOKUP to give you um, the return needed. So let me get rid of this because I want to drag my formulas down, my formula down. So now we've got a formula that's dynamic. Remember before I had to change the number, column, in, column index number for each of this. Now I will just drag it across and it will just give me exactly what I want. Voila. Isn't that exciting? I, I get excited when I learn new skills, new Excel tricks. And this was, I think it's second best formula or best thing I've learned in the last few years. Uh, and I'm excited about it because I would never have to use, uh, put numbers between to get my column index number. And I don't have to count anymore. That's all there is about this. And um, if this has been enlightening to you, if you enjoyed that tip, uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Um, there's going to be more and more content like this. I'm going to show you tricks I've learned in the last few years. And um, there's going to be more and more coming. So do stay tuned, do like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, for more and more content. Right, that has been Many Many Tips, and I'm out.